Hi, clarinets. Now that we review rhythm, um, we're ready to dive into the other aspect of music, and that is notes. So first off, at the beginning of every piece of music, um, even before the time signature, we will have this. And that is called a treble clef. And what a treble clef means is that our instrument generally plays higher notes, okay? Um, which is true. We play a lot higher than like trombones, baritones, tubas, and those instruments. So we read from what's called the treble clef, okay? Now, we can place our whole notes on either um, lines of the staff. You can put them on any of the lines of the staff, or we can put our notes on spaces of the staff, okay? So if it's on a line, that means that the note, uh, the line goes through the center of the note. If it's on a space, that means the note fits neatly between two lines, okay? So we have a couple tricks to remember the lines and the spaces of the staff. For the lines, we remember, a we use a sentence, okay? And the first letter of each word in the sentence refers to the note that is on that line. So for example, the um, sentence we're going to use for the lines is every good burger deserves fries. Okay. And so that means that the first line of the staff is E for every. The second line is G for good. The third line is B for burgers. Fourth line is D for deserves. And the fourth line is F for fries. Okay, so we have all three of those lines. Now, for the spaces of the staff, we're going to use something different. We're going to use face in the space, like, like you have a face on your head. Face in the space. And we remember that because those two rhyme. So what I mean by face in the space is that we're going to literally spell out F, a, C, E. And notice that we always start from the bottom and work our way up to the top. So for face, F is the first space, A is the second space, C is the third space, and E is the fourth space. Okay? Now for clarinet, we have learned three different notes. We've learned E, we've learned D, and we've learned C, okay? Now, starting with E, the first note that we learned, um, if you notice, there are two different E's. One is on a line and one is on a space. One is the first, um, the first word of every good burger deserves fries. And the other is the last letter of face, F-A-C-E. So how do we know which one our note E is? If it's this space or if it's this line? Well, since the E that we play is a lower note, it's not quite as high as like a flute's E, um, we're going to use the lower one to start off with, okay? So our note is the first line of the staff for E. Okay, then we have D, and D is a lower note than E. If we play those two notes back to back, here, let me grab my clarinet. I'm done saying this. Sorry, I should have been prepared before the video. But if I play E, and then D, D is a little bit lower than E. So that means that we're going to put D right below E, okay? And it's on the space that is below the first line of the staff. Yep, we can even go below the staff or above the staff eventually, and clarinets are able to do both actually, okay? Then for our final note, C, C is even lower than the first two notes. Here's E, here's D, here's C. C is even lower, okay? So we're going to go even lower on the staff. Now, here's the tricky part. Now we're out, we're, we're out of lines and spaces, okay? So now we're going to add what's called a ledger line. And a ledger line is just a little line that's below the staff, okay? 
I just drew a little line here. And then I'm going to put my note around that little line. And that is how we write our note C. Okay? So to review, E is the first line of the staff. D is below the first line of the staff. And C is on that first ledger line below the staff. And just if you're curious, L E D G E R, ledger line is how you spell that. Okay, so um, those are the three notes that we learned as well as the system that we use to know where notes are on both the, the lines and the spaces of the staff. Please let me know if you have any questions. Um, otherwise, complete, uh, thing, you can now finish up that Google form. And um, yeah, good luck. Let me know if you have any questions.